I only go to Little Lucas. Hey, you. You can definitely come. What are you doing, Sid? Don't leave. I'm not gonna kill it, Oh my god. No, right, well, you're actually just gonna leave? Alright, well, Sid's gone now. Alright, Sid's gone. So we're gonna hop into the match. The very first match here at MSM. After Nightmare on Smash, where we have Fujin going against Trainer K. Trainer K landing it back there. Ooh, going for one more, but unfortunately, he didn't get the last hitbox to all the knockback. He's got the drag down instead. It didn't really leave it anything, but nonetheless, he's in a couple more forwarders. Looking for the side B. Fujin, you know, pretty wise to it, jumping right over it. Possibly looking for a footstool. You never know. Because, guys, if you did, did not know, uh, if you end up footstooling Squirtle as he's doing his side B, he actually just goes straight up on his back. It cannot move for the longest time. Ganondorf actually has enough time to do a reverse to Warlock Punch to go ahead and completely KO him. But look at that. Trainer K coming through, getting that up air, getting that stock right away. All right, Fungin. Getting some things going real quick. He got that neutral B, but it doesn't matter. Uh, the Phantom Knight actually not connecting to anything. There goes the Stiletto. Not enough. Flair Blitz himself back onto the stage. Going to Squirtle. Oh my goodness, what you doing? You might actually be dead. You are the up throw. Gonna go ahead and do it. Fujin gets us up back into the game. Two stocks apiece. And again, this neutral B. It's so good just because there's invincibility on the startup at that. And in the mid range where Ivysaur usually thrives, you know, Zelda can go ahead and just send back that Razor Leaf. Okay, the Knight's gonna go ahead and eat the Razor Leaf. Not gonna lead us anything though. Forward air, leading into the up air, almost getting that stock. Looking for the Vine Whip as well. <laughs> yeah, did not charge the Phantom Knight. Though. Enough to go and get anything out of it. And both of them just trading real quick, yet again. Uh, they both know one good hit will go ahead and get them the W. And the parry on the up the teleport recovery allows Trainer K to get that slug off the back throw. Yeah, Trainer K is actually just able to do whatever the hell he wants right now. Coming in with all the aerials, getting these grabs, and is just really struggling to get himself going. Oh wow, actually I did not think that force match was going to connect. Trainer K getting away from the side B of Fungin, but Fungin not getting away from that back air, getting all that tail, getting all that fire. That's going to be it. You did it, Charizard. No, but there we have Trainer K with a very dominating game one, a two stock. Fungin needs to figure out what he wants to do to go ahead and, uh, you know, make some things happen for himself. You know, the Zelda definitely not made, not doing what she needs to. Yo, what's good, homie? Hello, hello. Uh, what's your tag? Miho. Oh, nice to meet Miho. you, Miho. Was I'm good. Scotty the Ghost, hopping on. Wasn't really feeling it today for commentary, but I didn't want to leave you by yourself, you know? I know how it feels. It's okay. It's Sid's fault anyway. She was here for like a good three <laughs> minutes. And she decided to leave me. Uh, Nate, ma make something happen. Uh, Let her know, Nate. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so looks like... I think it was Trainer K just won the first game over Fujin. Uh, not really surprising based on the matchup, you know. Zelda, I'd say she has great special moves, but outside of that, she doesn't have much going for her. It's okay, you can save her bluntly. Her normals are whack. <laughs> I think we all know that. I mean, her, her down tilt's pretty nice. I will say that. Her dash attack can go ahead and kill. Comes up pretty quick. Wait, her down tilt? No, down tilt from is, is pretty decent, but I meant dash attack. Dash oh, attack yeah. Comes, yeah, dash, dash attack comes up pretty quick and it kills. All right, game two, on to town and city. And, and there you see that classic sort of the neutral B get away from the option. Yeah, the only problem is when you can actually show that you're going to get something big afterwards. But nonetheless, there goes the Phantom Knight coming through yet again, getting what he can. There we have it. Neutral B getting punished one more time. That's kind of just been what's been happening this whole set. Yeah, definitely. Okay, Trainer K pulling out the Ivy Sword. Ivy Sword just to seal the kill. Easy first stock in less than 30 seconds. He, he's looking pretty confident. Already getting clipped high that forward. Not going to lose too much down throw. Neutral air. All right, Trainer K, you know, <laughs> it is looking pretty rough for him. I mean, he's just trying to set up with any type of defense, especially the Phantom Knight. But Trainer K does not care about it. He's either putting up a shield immediately or jumping right over where the Phantom Knight is going to be going. 
Yeah, it's not, there's not much that Fusion can do, but that forward air will could be the start of maybe evening up the stocks, but he has to get one more strong hit. And it doesn't look like he'll be able to do it, especially when he's getting punished with that neutral air. Yeah, I mean, right now, Fujin, all he's really looking for is doing something kind of unsafe on shield, and then immediately hitting out the neutral. We expecting Trainer K to hit that first button, but Trainer K, very weary of that, and just waiting it out instead. We're getting spot dodge cancel. Something else out of it, but there we go. Back air straight out of shield. We're getting that stock. What's like the fr how many frames is back here on that looks pretty fast. Don't ask me, that's a terrible question. I, I am not about frame data whatsoever. That's it. <laughs> Alright, down throw, trying to go for the up E. Fujin DI's out. Another forward air to keep Fujin at the ledge. Forward smash will do it. Yeah, forward smash is actually just ridiculous in my opinion, especially at the ledge, because Ivysaur gets that cock back, so the head is just tucked in. So even if you go for a getup attack or trying to like jump up on him with an aerial, he goes down so low where it's, it's kind of like an inkling where, where they're kind of like at a very low basis where you can't hit him. Yeah, low profile. It's a, it's a thing that a lot of characters can do, including Squirtle. Squirtle's like super tiny and that can hurt a lot of matchups just like that forward smash will hurt. That, that was pretty dominant duo. I, I don't think we're in Nightmare on Smashville anymore.